Self, I do believe in freedom to protect ourselves the way we see, the way we see fit, and freedom is what has been taken away. All summer, my friends and I have been together without masks, and not one person in my friend group has become sick. Kids my age do not seem to be spreading COVID. Additionally, COVID is a respiratory virus spread through aerosol particles, which are small enough to go through any masks. And the NIH has done several studies which prove this. Moving on to another matter that I feel masks are overshadowing is critical race theory. I understand that CRT is not a part of Botetourt County's curriculum, but I do feel that it is being brought into our schools and is an underlying agenda in many of our classes today. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that it is supposed to combat racism, I feel that it is actually promoting racism. I feel that it is calling attention to the different races in my school that never really mattered to me before. Mm -hmm. Schools all over America are making everything about race, ignoring other factors like economic status. They are characterizing us based on skin color. It's like I'm supposed to feel guilty for things I didn't even do and make some people I know of other races feel like they need help to succeed. This is simply not true. Look at Barack Obama, who started out with nothing and rose to be President of the United States, the greatest country in the world. Lastly, I think history should be studied and understood, but not changed to fit one political agenda. If we don't study and learn from our mistakes, history is destined to repeat itself. In closing, I just want to ask this board to please do what is best for us, the students. You have the chance to make history right now by standing up to our governor and the Board of Education. The mandate is not constitutional law. As our elected leaders, you must decide if you are going to stand tall like Americans or lead us to slaughter like sheep. Thank you for your time. To quote Dr. Russ, a lot of people think that CRT is just going to change the curriculum. What it is going to do is make people learn information on a much broader scale. It's not false information, it is all information, unquote. Do you understand why we are here to question you about CRT being taught in our county? We feel like we are being gaslighted. Are you going to gaslight us tonight by telling us that the Equity Task Force created by Dr. Russ and led by Mr. Tetrault is not already planning to use the BDOE's equity audit tool next year. I am here to call for more transparency from our school board, especially from Dr. <coughs> Russ. Simply making a general statement that you are against CRT and that the term is not mentioned in standards nor curriculum is not enough. Be transparent with us, Tell the BDOE no and put our requested members on your equity. Um, the first thing I want to address was I did call this morning because I knew there was going to be a bunch of people here. And as you can see in the back room, there's a bunch of people standing like you guys sit in your seats. And you guys work for us. You should have took it upon yourself to make sure that we had a bigger place so we can all sit together and we can all hear each other talk. Shame on you. Yeah. So. Amen. With that being said, I have contacted many of the senators today as I've addressed so many people in here, and I've contacted a lawyer in Florida to fight for us to not wear masks for little boys like that. Amen. Amen. And I expect you people to stand up and do the same. Mm -hmm. You work for us just like the governor works for us. I think you people are forgetting what the order goes in. You work for us. It's not the other way around. So if you don't want to work for us, you can step down and we can replace you with somebody that will work for us. And I know that you are responsible for making sure that we have a venue and there is a write-in in your spot, just so you're aware. All right, 
Next thing would be, there's also, oh, as for Mr. Deweese, I'm glad you got your roof, and I want to make sure that there is no black mold in body tot, because when my son went there, I know that there's black mold in body tot, and that man does not need to be breathing it, and he's good to children, so I want to make sure that that's addressed. Is that okay, <laughs> um, then there's another thing. There's a teacher, don't know what school that they're in, but I was informed that a teacher was telling the children today or yesterday that the reason why they have to wear masks is because they're not vaccinated. And that is not the teacher's place. And I'm tired of these teachers stepping out of line. They are there to teach. They are not there to parent. So I would like for the principals to inform these teachers that they're there to teach and they're not there to be their parents. That is our job. This teacher had also told the child last year that they don't need to listen to their parent. That's not acceptable. So maybe we should start thinking about um the goal to make masks optional. Right? I commend you for that. Um, after Northam's announcement on the 5th uh, and a blatant open threat to school boards, you changed that decision. Uh, my question is, was that a vote that you made or was it an edict by Mr. Russ? <laughs> they won't answer. They, they won't answer you. They won't. Oh, sorry. On this paper, we say we do not respond to comments that you fill out. No I appreciate the paper. Get your seconds back? <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, in Mr. Russ's announcement on 8-6, you said Botetide has experienced a high community transmission rate recently. Um, I did want to ask where he got his data. So. They can't talk about okay. um, That's funny because <clears throat> I went to the CDC website on the 8th and reviewed the last seven day total cases for Botetide County. It's really easy to drill that down. There's this thing called Google, right? Um, there was 45 total cases in Botetai County. The last census data I could find was 2019, showed 33,419 citizens in Botetai County. Now you'll have to excuse me because I did go to Botetai County Public Schools, but I think to get a percentage, if you take the rules under your five by big number and you move the decimal right, uh, that 0.1% of the population had active cases. So, even more important than that, um, the new hospital admission rates for COVID was zero. <clears throat> Even more important than that, deaths. Um, for some reason, the chart didn't go to zero. It only went to less than 10, conveniently enough, but it was less than 10. It was flatlined, right, for the last seven days. Um, percentage of hospital beds, if you remember, that's why all this started, because they didn't want to overrun the hospitals. That was the whole point of this. It wasn't to make zero COVID cases. Um, that in Botetai County was also 0%. So, I don't know about you, but I, my question was going to be, do you consider one-tenth of 1% 1 a high transmission rate? Because if you do, you obviously went to Botetai County Public Schools too. So, the majority of what I had to say was regarding <clears throat> House Bill 1303. Um, but that's kind of, you know, the governor put fire down for you, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, yes, they do. I don't. I don't consider. No, I get it. Uh, I don't consider one tenth of one percent to be appropriate measures um, for y'all to muzzle our kids for the remainder of the school year. Um, let's get most of this bullshit. All right, cool. So I'd like to point you to two documents. One is the United States Constitution, Constitution, and one is the Virginia State Constitution. Both of them um, imply that you are to govern by the consent of the governed. Virginia State Bill of Rights, Article 1, Section 2, people, the power of the source, that all people is vested in and consequently derived from the people. The magistrates, elected officials, are trustees and servants and all times amenable to them. Thank you, Mr. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Nancy Harvey. I'm from the neighboring county, Rock Bridge. I want to come and support you tonight, Natural yeah. Bridge District. Yeah. Thank you for everyone. I'm really proud of all of you. As a child attending elementary school in the late 50s and early 60s, 
I had the distinct honor and privilege every morning of reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to our beloved flag and saying this prayer. Almighty God, we acknowledge our dependence upon thee, and we beg thy blessings upon us, our parents, our teachers, and our country. Amen. Amen. However, on June 25th, 1962, this simple 22-word prayer was deemed a destructive force by our government, and prayer and Bible study was taken out of all public schools. And at that time, I was going to Breckenridge Elementary. Thank you. By doing so, they created a huge void, and immediately Satan came rushing in to set up shop. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you are proposing to implement upon the most innocent, our children, your children, of Botetourt County is most assuredly a destructive force that is immoral, dangerous, and unacceptable in the sight of Almighty God. Yes. You know it, I know it, they know it. In conclusion, I want to leave you with this quote by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Remember him, ladies and gentlemen? Silence in the face of evil is itself evil. God will not hold us guiltless. Not to speak is to speak, and not to act is to act. Yes. I'm here today speaking up against this evil agenda that you deem appropriate and necessary for the children whom you serve. I say no, no. not on my watch. President Abraham Lincoln said it best when he warned us, America will never be destroyed from the outside. Mm. If we falter and lose our freedom, it will be because we destroyed ourselves from the inside. Yes. I challenge all of you, look here, look at me now. Can I, this is what I want you each to ask yourselves as you lay your head on the pillow tonight. Can I personally continue to go down this road of contributing to the destruction of America from within by promoting such a radical and heinous agenda called critical race theory. Thank you. And I really wish that you guys would get it together because this mask situation, okay, so we have wear the masks, don't wear the masks. You can get COVID through the masks. Now people that are vaccinated and wear masks can get COVID. Masks hide impressions. Our children are young. We have facial expressions, excitement, joy, positive things that bring to light when you don't have a mask on. It is the duty of Mr. Russ and his board to stand up for this county and tell Ralph, no, come after us, whatever you've got. If you're coming after us for attorney to sue us or whatever because we won't do the math, let them do it. Yeah. What the hell are they going to do if the whole state yes. stands up to them and says no? Yeah. And Loudoun yeah. County is doing that. Yeah. And Botetourt County is going to do it yeah. also. Absolutely. So that's the mask deal. Now, you know, they want to put the kids in masks, and that way they can say, see, we need to vaccinate the kids. Oh, yeah. And then they're going to get the schools to vaccinate the kids without the parents' permission. Oh, yeah. Just like you do with all kinds of stuff of the sex education stuff that's in this curriculum. The next thing I have is the board um, size of this room. Oh. You know, the capacity of this room is 100 if you would move the board meeting to LB, we would be able to get more parents so that you can see what you guys are doing is wrong. But you won't move it because this way we can only put so many people in here. Secondly, I would like to address the equity task force. When I was at the Board of Supervisors meeting in May, and I heard Gary LaRoe say that they hired a new equity task force for the school board, I knew right then and there where my fight was going to be. And let me tell you, you have 11 people on that board and not one parent. There are five districts in this county, and I expect from all of you to give one parent out of each district on your little board. And guess what? If you don't, 
we will demand that you dismantle that board. That is what our purpose for this is. We are not putting up with this one bit. You are hiding things from the public. That's why you do. You know, it'd be really nice if you could have an eye contact with me, Mr. Russ. That's kind of what you do when people are talking to each other. Hello, I'm Carrie Martell. You have my address. Um, I'm just going to say that I'm really glad to hear about progress on the Lord Bob Hutt Roof. So thank you. The Bobcat County School Board uh, reversed its ruling on masks, uh, so students will now be required to wear them at school, and our tyrant Democrat governor issued that um, decree today from the State Health Commissioner that he endorses forcing students to wear their masks to school. Uh, in the same order, he's dedicated more funding to improving air quality in state public schools. Bobcat just spent $300,000 on plasma generators for the schools for air purification, not for blasting into space. Why are we spending this money on air purification if we're still going to muzzle our children? Why, I ask, which is rhetorical because we don't order them and their parents and visitors to wear masks and we can't see how many compliant sheep we have. We won't know how many people to expect to obey the next more draconian unconstitutional government order. As has been stated, y'all are lesser magistrates, so it is your job to stand up for us. And a fact that CRT people will even embrace. At one time, slavery was the law here. It still wasn't moral. So you can hide behind the well, it's legal and we have to do this, but it's not moral and we rely on you to stand up. That is your job. Amen. Amen. The U.S. Constitution was written specifically for times like this. When we have an emergency and the government, government starts grabbing our liberties. <coughs> government cannot constitutionally force us to put things on or in our bodies. Amen. Yes. This brings me to the topic of government doing things it does not need to be doing. The equity task force is, per Dr. Russ, not required. There is no reason to create a committee of 11 people if it is not required. We do not need to enlarge government. Mm -mm. If you're going to, parents need to be on the committee, though. Additionally, I remind you that equity is a critical theory right term and concept, and in Botox, parents oppose CRT. So in contradiction to your claims that CRT is not in Botox Public Schools, it is in Botox Public Schools. We want it out. Lastly, to all of you Amsterdam District parents, taxpayers, and voters, please vote for Steve Dean for school board on Tuesday, November 2nd. That's under in under three months. He is a write-in candidate, and he will do the school board member job and stand up for what parents want, not what Richmond wants, and he will not look to Superintendent Russ for instructions on everything he does. Superintendent Russ works for the school board, not the other way around. Thank you, <laughs> the law on a bus. Yeah. With your salary at approximately 170000 I think the only thing we are wasting is our money. Mm. In your own handbook, it states that bullying is prohibited and defines bullying as behavior that is intended to harm, intimidate, uh, humiliate the victim, uh, a perceived power imbalance, that is repeated over time and causes emotional trauma. Masks cause emotional trauma. Amen. By your own definition, you are bullying our children with these mask mandates. And I'm speaking to you also, Ralph. Oh. Hazing is prohibited. To recklessly endanger the health and or safety of students um, as a condition of continued membership in a club or organization. Students are entitled to a learning environment free of unnecessary disruption any disturbance which interferes with teaching is prohibited. Any clothing that interferes with the educational environment is unacceptable. These are your words and your policies in, in your handbook. Your vote to leave masks up to the parents, only to then turn around and make them mandatory one week later, yeah. is bully behavior and you're complicit in, de in deploying psychological warfare on my children. My children, ages six and eight, who are far more courageous than you, uh, bullies tend to be cowards wanted to be here tonight and look you in the eye, which you're not doing, and mm -hmm. ask you why you lied to them. So I have a letter that my daughter wrote. Dear school board, 
I thought you said we wouldn't have to wear masks in school like this, uh, like last year. Now you were making us wear masks. You lied to us. It makes me more mad than ever. In the summer, when it's burning hot outside, it is not very nice. I really don't want to wear masks anymore. If God wanted us to have masks on, he would have attached them to our faces. That's right. She made a nice little mask emoji there for you to see. <laughs> Parents, uh, we tell our children to stand up to bullies. And if you agree with that, please show my daughter and our children that we agree and that we're going to stand up to these bullies. You are being psychologically and emotionally abusive to our children. And we are telling you under no uncertain terms, step down immediately or be recalled. My name is Danny Govett. I reside at 4766 Great Mountain Road. For over 400 years, the policy of our country in dealing with the sick was the policy to lay down in the Bible. You quarantine the sick, not the well. The masks quarantine the sick. The masks cover the image of God. Genesis tells us, and God, furthermore, God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the fit, fowl of the heaven, and over the beast, and over all the earth, and over everything that creepeth and moveth on the earth. Then God, thus God created the man in his image, in the image of God created he him. He created them male and female. Man is made in the image of God. The image which is covered by the mask. The mask cover a free man. The mask cover an individual. A teacher who is teaching those children. The mask hide the identities of all. God, He rules in the affairs of men. Why do the nations rage and the people murmur in vain? The kings of the earth band, it, band themselves together and assemble together against the Lord and against His Christ. Let us break their bands and cast their cords from us. But he that dwelleth in the heaven shall lack. The Lord shall have them in derision. I go down further. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the end of the earth for thy possession. I shall crush them with the scepter of iron, and break them to pieces. Be wise now, therefore, ye kings. Be learned, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord in fear and in trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, when his wrath shall suddenly burn. Blessed are they that trust him. I know this is not popular for the representatives of the people and we've heard about this many times over the last few weeks that you must obey the order of the king. At a time when Egypt was the largest empire in the, in the world today, the Pharaoh demanded that the midwives murder the Hebrew boys. Thank you, Mr. Goad. And the, and the, Mr. Goad, your time is up. The, the midwives of the Egyptians refused to listen to their governor. Thank you, your time is up. They had the Mr. fear Goad, of God. Crowd <clears throat> Buchanan. <clears throat> Regarding mask mandates, <clears throat> you say you have no authority with regard to mask policy. I'm here to address you because I have virtually no voice in Richmond. I would love to go up there and I even talked to my wife about it. She said, I have to fix that in Richmond. What am I going to do? Who in Richmond is going to listen to me? I'm here to talk with you because 
because we're, we're neighbors, okay? Um, we're looking to you to make the right decisions for our children. We're looking to you to make the right decisions for our children. The, the people of the state are not gonna make the right decisions for the children. They've made that very, very clear. Um, this has been done in other school divisions around the state. I haven't followed all of them, but I've gotten a couple of reports. Uh, Culpeper County School Board has rejected the state mandate. There it is. Spotsylvania County will not be enforcing the state mandate. There was no data in any place or at any time during this pandemic that shows that the mask mandates have had any positive effect whatsoever. Look all over the world. This data is available. It's your responsibility to know this data and to use it to make the best decisions for our students. K-12 age students are the least affected segment of this population, almost to the point of saying they're completely, they're almost completely unaffected by it. The idea of using a mask mandate in general doesn't make sense. The idea of using a mask mandate on children, we've known this for well over a year. This doesn't make any sense. And, and, and we want it to stop. Shh. I know you're intelligent people. Surely you know this. Masking them is irresponsible, and we're opposed to it. We will continue to push back against the, uh, those who would apply restrictions to us that are clearly both capricious and ineffective. Thank you. That's how you get a point.